Hi, I'm Tiffany, and this is Brokerl Aesthetic. On this channel, I do budget-friendly DIYs, thrift flips and hauls, trash of treasures, and more. So it's time for some spring DIYs, and the first one's not going to be really, like, super hardcore, <laughs> I guess, in the DIY department. It's basically going to be an upcycle uh, thrift, uh, flip, I, you know, I don't know. I'm going to do some flowers. So let's do some flowers. Okay. So I have this thing base deal that I picked up last year, the year before I had it to store ribbon. So I've been in the process of rearranging my craft space and doing some different things. I've got my ribbon in different places now, so I can repurpose this into a base thing so easy peasy i'll just stick some floral foam in here wow like the whole brick goes right in like there we go that's it so <laughs> i have a huge move some stuff out of the way tote This is a secondary tote. Like, I have three times this amount of flowers, but I'm just gonna break into this one because this is where I put all my springtime floral bits. This is a very large tote. I'm just gonna grab some flowers. Don't really know what I'm gonna get out of here. Just gonna grab some stuff. All right, so I successfully got through a 64 quart, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, tote of florals. And I'm just picking some, I'm not gonna use all of these in this one because I have more spring ones. So I think these are supposed to be peonies. I don't know, not really sure. I'm just going through here and I guess picking the ones I want. All right. Now I need to find my, I need to find my clippers. I think this will do for now. I probably should hot glue that in there, huh? <laughs> I don't really think it's going to come out. I mean, honestly, I could just call that a day.
I think that one is good and done. I think it just looks really pretty and springy. So let's come up with something else. This video is part of the April Showers Bring May Flowers playlist and this is hosted by Leo of Junkanegger DIY and Simply Becky DIY. All for a spring, showing off spring projects, spring flowers. So make sure you check my description box for their links and the link to the playlist. And thanks Leah and Becky for such a fun challenge. So let's get on to the other craft. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, and if you saw before, it was for a Valentine's video DIY thing. I painted three mason jars and I did them white, red, and pink. There was an, like an ombre effect to that. That's not what we're doing here though. <laughs> I want to do a blue, a green, and a... No, I guess I could. A blue, a green, and a teal. I want to end up with the entire rainbow of jars at some point. Hoping I have enough of these to do all of those. I guess we're just going to try it out and see what happens. So, I'm going to do a blue, a green, and a teal. And they are going to be like a um, not quite primary, not quite pastel. More like a... Well, you'll see. So, what I'll do is coat these, since they're glass, with uh, layers of Mod Podge first before I try painting. And I will do that right now. All right, now I have my jars coated with the matte Mod Podge to give me a base. And to color, I'm going to do Blue Lullaby in the Folk Art Acrylic. I'm going to use Celery in the Waverly Chalk Paint. And for this, for the tealy one, I'm going to use Agave in the Waverly Chalk Paint, but I'm going to mix it with white Waverly Chalk Paint to give it a more pastel color. Okay, so I guess I'm using pastels. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how they look when they dry down. They might look way darker, but that's what we're going to do. So let me get on to that. I guess I'll start with this color, huh? And this is, what did I say, celery? This is the color celery from Waverly Chalk Paint. These are all Plaid Crafts paints. I'm a Plaid Ambassador. Uh, sometimes I can get the paints I want. Other times I have to travel for them, which I had to do for the Agave and the Celery. I've been seeing a lot of those being used lately. And I really wanted these colors, so that's what I'm doing here. I should probably be using my little spongy brush for this. So I will paint this one and the blue one first, and then we'll come back and mix the teal together and see how that looks. And I'll do two coats of all of these. So here's the first coat of the celery and it's not quite the green I'm looking for. I think what I'm going to do is add a little dab of the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint and Antique Green just a little bit to just kind of green it up a little more before I do more to it. And then of course I need to add a second coat to that. Okay, there we go. So there's the green. That is perfect because I don't have a color like that. I will go with that for this. Now let me go ahead and do this agave, which honestly, I might not even need to change the color on this one, but this might actually be pretty perfect. We'll see how it goes. And here's what we've got, the blue, the, 
This is the agave. This needs another coat. And my mix of celery and a little dash of that antique green. I want to make sure these are well painted and then I will seal them all in with matte Mod Podge. And then we'll get to stuffing the florals in. All right, here we have them finished. I've got them coated with Mod Podge and distressed them. One, two, and three. I think they've turned out really good, so let me style them up and show you the final results of both of these projects. And there are my mason jar bases. I really like the colors on these. That's about how I expected. And they'll make a good addition. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a whole set spanning many different colors, the rainbow, and uh, this is just my, my second set. Perfect for spring, too. So yeah. And there I've got my spring centerpiece ready to go. All kinds of spring colors sit on the table for Easter or just all through spring. All right, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my description box for Simply Becky DIY and Jungernecker DIY. Their are links in the link to the April Showers, Bring May Flowers playlist are down there as well. And while you're at it, spread that YouTube goodness. Like, comment, subscribe on everybody's channels. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, y'all. Bye.